If I make it there, I'll make it anywhere. It's up to you, New York, New. Yeah, thanks for looking after the flat, mate. Oh, nice to see you, Frank. That's all right, mate. <laughs> see you later on. Yeah, see take care. <laughs> Stato in the room. <laughs> <laughs> I think they've noticed. Yeah. Anyway, hello and welcome back to Fantasy Football League. Later on, we'll be finding out what's happened to our Fantasy League teams during our winter break. And we'll be recreating an English goal fest with one of the superstars of the 1970s. But first, some late news. After claiming that what he actually said to Cantona was, off, 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 go on Cantona, get an early shower. <laughs> Matthew Simmons has been signed up to be one of the crowd in Roy of the Rovers. <laughs> and the Simmons debate continued as the famous linguist, Professor, Professor Gilbert Egg, explained that off, 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 have an early shower, Cantona, is actually French for piss off, froggy. <laughs> you touched your mother's bare bottom. <laughs> but in a statement released tonight, Cantona said, that whatever anyone else said, he would always be on Ince's side. I'm oh, sorry, that should say, he would always be inside. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be saying a big hello to Graham Kelly. Hello, I'm Graham Kelly. <laughs> hello! But first, a few things we noticed as we watch football slowly sink into the mire over the last few weeks. The magistrate didn't believe Dennis Wise when he said that his girlfriend's long dress had got caught in the taxi door. Here's the couple arriving at court. <laughs> um. The last time, last time you go in the players' bar, you know that, Nathan. <laughs> and Peter Shilton complained that despite all the terrible crimes going on everywhere else in football, he was still being pursued by his debtors. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have had the shirt off his back. Yeah. Eric Cantona finally admitted that what professional sportsmen do can influence the actions of people who are watching. And in their latest advert, Puma claim that you can get up to £40,000 into one of their new shoulder bags. <laughs> now it's time for my news round. When we left you, the league table looked like this. Alan Hansen was riding high, Patsy was hard on his heels, with Frank and Paula mounting a challenge. But oh how the mighty have fallen. Injuries to key players have seen the Liverpool Lothario sink to fifth. The gal is still Patsy's pal. A phenomenal 36 points from the Blackburn scoring machine has restored Patsy's lead. My flatmate Frank is still right in contention. Four holiday time goals from Jurgen Klinsmann take Frank to second place outright. The big mover is Nick Hornby. Five goals from new signing Anthony Yeboah have catapulted our Arsenal-loving fantasy manager into the top three. Paula's fortunes have dipped over the break. Kevin Pressman's seven minus points have seen her challenge fade. Jimmy Tarbuck is back in the relegation zone. Ninth before the break, but lack of midfield goals means it's bottom three for Tarby. Delia is anchored at the bottom, and so, despite a vote of confidence from the fancy committee, could she be our first managerial casualty of the season?
You all right, Stato? Yeah, fine. You had a nice break? Yeah, enjoyed it a lot, didn't you? No, you were there. I think it's all <laughs> Now, I was having a look, um, not for pleasure, at the BBC <laughs> uh, video, the official history of Aston Villa Football Club. And you, you see, how, yeah, there it is, the official history of Aston Villa Football Club. And um, this has got lovely pictures on the cover of famous Villa heroes like uh, Dennis Mortimer and Peter With, and a lovely shot in the middle there of... Um, the Burnley League Championship went inside. <laughs> it's true. So obviously, uh, it's the Villa video, but there's a bit of Burnley on it, you know, because uh, they're not good enough for an entire video all to themselves, perhaps. Or as you said, perhaps it's just, you know, like Claret and Blue. Yeah, West Ham are on there. West somewhere, Ham and Crystal oh, Palace. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> that bloke. Possibly, yeah, so just Claret and Blue things. Like Brian Clough's nose is on there, for example. <laughs> so. Uh, now. <laughs> Now, boo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they're talking about. Now, something that we never counted on when we began this series was the overwhelming success of Tom Webster and his hilarious remarks on the <laughs> 1934 Cup final. He's Just been, saying his name. Yeah, it's it's hilarious. <laughs> He's been so successful, you can now actually buy these T-shirts. Look at that. <laughs> Tom Webster merchandise. There's his famous remarks... Um... What would you call that? Caption. A caption, that's what that is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, lovely tea. My favourite um, Tom Webster merchandise is the Tom Webster doll. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Look at that. <laughs> Sorry, can we see that? There it is. There's Tom. Tom. Webster and there's a string on the back, and if you pull it, just wait for this. The cup goes north. It is much better than going May West. <laughs> <laughs> and wait for it, wait for it. There's, a, there's an added bonus. <laughs> Truth. That, that, yeah, one, that yeah. one's dampening. Yeah. That's going to that's gonna frighten somebody to death there. I feel instinctively that that doll of Tom has got no genitals. Do you? Yeah. I don't, I don't know if you want to check or anything. I think you're thinking of Stato, aren't you? All oh, right, OK. <laughs> <laughs> but what most people... <laughs> I've taken a terrible bruise <laughs> yeah. at the top of this. But what most people don't know is that Tom didn't just do football. No matter what the sport, Tom had a marvellous remark. This is the final of the men's doubles. And the way they are moving around, it looks as though they've had trebles. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> but... <laughs> oh, I don't know if I can take this yeah, much Tom in one go, I tell you. <laughs> However, Tom incredibly saved some of his best remarks for his live performance. Gentlemen, at this time of the year, it is hard for me to tell a funny story. Because at this time of the year, I start to think of next year's income tax. And when I start to think of uh, next year's income tax, I can't think of a funny story. Nice <laughs> 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 thing. Oh, but... <laughs> <laughs> Anything he says, really. Anything he says. Unfortunately, though, we have to announce with great sadness <laughs> that the time has come now that we have used up all of Tom's remarks about the 1934 Cup Final. Yes, yeah, so that, that was the end of his things on the 1934 Cup Final. Mind you. Mm. Boys equalises for the Albion. Well, after all, boys will be boys. <laughs> Oh, he's, he's back, got he's, he's still back. got it. He's back and he's better than ever in lots of ways. Is that the doorbell? No, it isn't. Oh, right. oh, oh it is, it is. Oh. <laughs> Tell you what you get. I'll get it. All right, then. I don't care. Boom, he's Jimmy Tarbuck and Nick Hornby. Marvellous. <laughs> do we do this catchphrase? <laughs> Thank God we got that out of the way, dude. Yeah. Show me what I've got. Right. <coughs> well, there's that jacket as well. Not bad, is it? Yeah, fantastic. Oh, like it. Yeah. yeah. Well, welcome, anyway. Thank you very welcome. much. Hello. And uh, we what, a, what a break we've had, eh? Not much to talk about, really. I can't believe really what's gone on lately. It's just, I mean, uh, unbelievable. But what I can't believe is that you get two weeks in jail for common assault. Will this apply for everybody? And not just a slap on the wrist from magistrates for the others, will it apply for everybody? Well, Love it, it's a round of applause. I know, here, I, I can't condone what happened that night, but there has to be a law for one and for all. 
and not just for that lad. You know. Fair enough. What do you normally get for common assault then, Jim? Oh, I don't know, a pound, from two Liverpool, pound fifty, you know? something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Depends who I'm butting. <laughs> I don't know, but... Uh, you think it's a bit harsh, then? Well, no, no, I don't think it's harsh. I just think it's strange. Very strange what's going on. And uh, footballers arrested at 7 o'clock in the morning, secret arrests, and yet the television and the tabloids are there. But it's secret. Mm. Could there be a policeman at the station going, now they're going down there? Is he getting a bung? Because that's what they're <laughs> supposed to be for. But someone must tell them who's going down there. Blimey, Jimmy Tarbuck investigative report. Say no more! <laughs> and what's more important, who's got this man's hair? We've got to find these things out. Oh, for goodness <laughs> sake. Yes. Oh, There's no need for that. <laughs> uh, one or two, boy. You can start on me, I don't mind. Go on, Nick. Have a feel. Yeah. Gonna... There was a time in the 70s, if you went round a player's house at 7 o'clock in the morning, he'd still be at the nightclub. Yeah. Never a court him in. <laughs> it's all gone wrong. But Cantona, do you think he's been nicely done to, Nick? Um, Speaking as an Arsenal fan, <laughs> <laughs> you thought maybe yeah. execution. No, I think yeah, oh. it's oh, don't make barnyard noises. Come now. <laughs> uh, taking up Jim's point, I, I can't believe that a, a guy steals four hundred and twenty-five thousand pounds and loses his job. I mean, that doesn't seem right to me. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. That that is harsh. <laughs> Still a whole new exciting era now under uh, Stuart Houston. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's going well as well. There has been, it's got so bad now, apparently, with the sleaze thing, that players are having to be strip-searched before they go on the pitch. <laughs> Which is not very nice for the people that have to do the internal examinations. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's a dirty update. job, but it'll stop him biting his nails, won't it? <laughs> <laughs> so, talking about, about Arsenal... Well, they're speaking about Arsenal. I tell you that, did you see this on the telly the other night? That, um, well, that John Walk um, did the tackle and got sent off, a bit unfair. And he said... Oh, and not two Norwich fans are here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, no, no. And John Walker said the last time he got sent off, it was for a tackle on Charlie George. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, OK, it was in a betting shop, but even so. <laughs> so anyway, so Arsenal are still in Europe and Chelsea are still in Europe. Incredibly, could be a Chelsea-Arsenal Cup Winners' Cup final. Yeah, we're all looking forward that'll to that. Be, that'll, that'll, be, be, yeah. that'll be fantastic. <laughs> Especially if we all get to go to Paris to watch it as well. That'd it won't be, be in nice. Paris, but when they switch it to, to England. Stato thinks it's going to be in Paris. Is that right, Stat? Are you seeing Stato on the sly? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what I've been doing with my break, yeah. Why do you think that's Stato? Well, I've been told that the UEFA are determined to have it in Paris to come up May, but I don't... can't UEFA speak to you, Stato. <laughs> <laughs> Will you let Stato have his say? He's, he's, on, he's on a roll there. Eh? But I think it'll come down to money in the end, and I'm sure if it were Arsenal Chelsea, which we hope it will be, that it will be at Wembley. But if it is in Paris, the only people who are going to benefit are the Eurotunnel. Sorry? If it is in Paris, the only people who are really going to benefit the Eurotunnel between Euro Arsenal they'll... and Chelsea. Oh, well, they'll all be going across on the, on, on the Eurotunnel, won't they, to Paris? Right. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe that had happened, would it? I don't know. Arsenal-Chelsea final? Yeah, yes, I can, I can see an <laughs> Arsenal-Chelsea final, but uh, n not, never in Paris, my God. Well, got what would the French do with that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, good news for the French, two English teams. <laughs> 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 We've got oh, Cantona, dear. you can have this lot. <laughs> Wallop! <laughs> we, um, West Brom played uh, Dynamo Bucharest at, uh, <laughs> true, at the Hawthorns in... Or when would it be? early 70s. This is a true story. And uh, Dynamo Bucharest turned up and the Albion disc jockey who ran Radio Throstle from the stand. <laughs> That's a disease. Not, not a joke. <laughs> <laughs> they, hadn't, they couldn't get a copy of the Romanian national anthem. So when they stood up for the national anthem, they played Midnight in Moscow by Kenny Bourne. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. Honestly. Oh, wonderful. Honestly, all standing there bravely. <laughs> oh, marvellous. Yeah. So, Sampdoria, have you had a look at their team at all? I have, yeah. I've watched them on uh, Sunday afternoons. Yeah. He plays for Lombardo. them. Here Lombardo! Here we go, here we go! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How could you watch their team and put up with the Lombardo jokes constantly? I love Lombardo. I think he's the greatest player in Europe. Well, he's a good player. You want to watch him here, actually. He's very good.
nothing wrong with that. Terrific <coughs> player. There he goes. I thought Lombardo was a sort of a dance thing. No, no, that's just what you're thinking of. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Yeah, no, yeah, I see what you mean now. Yeah, I think it's it, a sort of dog. It is, isn't it? It is, really. It's all right what Nick says, though. He's a, he's a good mover. Oh! Now, what, what was happening to your packet, then, exactly? <laughs> Sorry? Nothing. Right. Chelsea are playing Real Zaragoza, aren't they? Which just sounds like a comedy Spanish name. Doesn't sound like a real thing. I, I, I don't think... know where it is. Uh, well, certainly in Spain somewhere, but uh, not, not much beyond that. Where I'm is afraid. it, Stato? Where's Northern Farragol? Spain, sort of between Barcelona and on the way down to Real Madrid. You've been to? Uh, yeah, Real? I've been a couple of times. I think that. The of course, you have. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> the trouble with the trouble with Zaragoza is that the away form has let them down badly, and it's a big advantage for Chelsea to play the second leg in London. Yeah. So, Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy, let's have a look at your team. My dear Dave. Let's have a look at it. There it is. So it's, it's, it's gone a bit wrong for you, hasn't it, Jim? Okay. Yes, but if you looked at that team on paper, I picked a good side. I made one fatal flaw at the beginning. I didn't bid at the beginning for a good goalkeeper. I didn't realise how, how it worked. But you've got to, all the teams at the top have got a good keeper. Yeah. And uh, I let all the, the star goalies, you know, I let them go. I didn't quite realise that. But I've got some players there that I'm thrilled with. Fowler, Barnes, Rossler. Yeah. Oh, right. they're good players. They're, you know, they're scoring goals. Yeah, it's good to see that Ros has got over that freak accident when he got the Andrex puppy stuck up his arse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've got um, Stefan Schwartz as well. Yes. Not perhaps your best boy. No. <laughs> let, let, me, let me tell all the troops in here tonight and everyone at home, I was the only one at that auction that when it all ended, I still had three million pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I could keep that. I thought, well, I'll go home with a few quid. Yes. I mean, a, 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 not a balls of that. I mean, I was left with three million. So, anyway, Stefan Schwartz. Yeah, Stefan Schwartz. He'll be playing, of course, against uh, Sampdoria. Well, I hope so. Well, that reminds me. <laughs> Lovely mover. <laughs> This, of course, is uh, the holiday programme with Cliff Mitchellmore. <laughs> <laughs> just like him, isn't yeah. it? Look at that. Sergeant oh, Bilker. He's fallen over. <laughs> Beautifully uh, well, done, so. Stato. Yeah. You, you, you were like tigers on Vaseline, as somebody once said. <laughs> just in fashion, said that, I think. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, dear. Have we gone, have we gone too far? Let's look, <laughs> let's look at Nick's barrel. team, quick. There you go, you're three. Now you are you're really the, the person bombing up the table at the moment. You're the You're the, the Tottenham Hotspur sort of. Yeah, I wish. I wish oh sorry, I'm quite like that. that bad yeah. thing to say to an <laughs> Arsenal fan, obviously. You've got Heldo, who's got you no points, but no, it does no look like Michael Jackson before the surgery. That's why I bought him, yeah. It's an incredible looking bloke. Yeah. Heldo. Is he actually any good? Um he is good. He's he's had one well, two or three really good games and a couple of terrible games. He had a terrible game against uh, West Ham. Slated him at the Oxair game. You slated him? Yeah, I was in one exactly. Yeah, apparently boxes. he was very depressed about that. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't get over it. <laughs> he, wasn't, he wasn't playing, though. Huh? He wasn't playing. No, he was in one of the boxes. And I went out and said, You've got to get your air sorted out, otherwise you're going to play real <laughs> That was it, that was enough for him. You sure didn't he say, Off, to... off, off. <laughs> 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 So who else has been do, doing well for you? Have you... you have been absolute stud because when, before the break you were where sort of middle of the table, slightly well, I was, below. I was getting up to middle of the table. I started off bottom. Um... But then, you, yeah, exactly. And then you started doing. The office would say, "Oh, uh, Nick Hornby found at uh, um, half past seven this morning <laughs> to buy uh, to buy your boo Yeah, just I been, was uh, very keen to, to buy your boo. So there you say it, your boo. No, you said your boo. He said your boo. It turned into a Gershwin song. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's called your the thing off. <laughs> of course, Jimmy would say, "Yeah, whoa." Oh, oh. <laughs> no, but you've you've really been doing the stuff as the uh, as a manager. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I was going to sack myself at Christmas, and uh, it did get a lot better. 
I had the Man United defenders got a lot better. They were very, they had a very dodgy time. Yeah, over and Christmas. you. Of course, I had Tony Cotty and got rid of him because I knew he'd just never score again. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he scores. And you bought streaks. him, and he's got about fifteen goals. Since. And um, <laughs> Hutchinson. Yeah, done Hutchinson. Well as well. You got now. He's a, you wouldn't expect him to get you so many points, but he has, has not he? Well, I, I thought he'd get a few because he basically plays up front. Yeah, really, and he's down as a midfielder. So yeah, I thought, always a good thing. Yeah. He's actually, he's also one of the players who got a front view of Ian Wright with his shorts down. <laughs> now, that can't th be Yeah, true. there's a joke, not having no basis in fact. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, hold on. Hello? No, I'll, t I'll tell him. I'll tell him, certainly. Yeah, uh, message for our viewers there. If anyone would like that clip, of uh, Don Hodgson to keep. It's actually on the Aston Villa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you bought no you bought Noel Quinn. Originally. Why did you do that, Nick? Why? <laughs> it was sentimental reasons. Old Arsenal. Yeah. But he was crap for Arsenal, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah. So sentimentally, yeah, just it. completely sentimental. Yeah. One thing about Quinn. Uh, Quinn's uh, a very. He's very important to the Irish team. Apparently, he's a very tall bloke. And I hear that Jack Charlton likes to use the players as a sort of flight of stairs, sometimes. He <laughs> 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 uh, runs up and down them to keep fit, so they say. Yeah. Anyway, look, now it's time for Phoenix from the Flames in Europe. This week, five of the best from Super Mac. Now, Malcolm, you were one of the superstars of the 70s. Yeah, things were going really great at Newcastle, um, and I was getting loads of offers. Uh, Disney Studios wanted me to play Mary Poppins. <laughs> no, I meant you were one of the superstars. <laughs> yeah, but that was just a bit of nonsense. I thought we were here to talk about my five goals against Cyprus. Yeah, but that was a superstars event, wasn't it? And Michael McDonald comes up, he shoots and scores, and he'll have to do that five more times. No, no, it wasn't a superstars event. It was a serious, big international match against Cyprus. Anyway, the thing I remember about superstars was that everyone always looked really good on it. The superstars now face. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was a brilliant programme, and always, always won by Brian Jacks. Oh, yeah, that judo bloke. Yeah. Hey, and John Conti was on it. Yeah, Kevin Keegan. Uh -huh. Look, I'm talking about the Cyprus match. We were walking down the tunnel, and the referee was... Oh, dear. Superstars, eh? Hey, do you remember all those funny hairstyles? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind funny hairstyles. I'm telling you about the ref. <laughs> well, the first goal against Cyprus, it was a free kick that was out on the left. And Alan Hudson was on the ball, Alan Ball was there as well. Alan Hudson floated it in, and there was the ball. It was sitting just perfectly up into the corner of the net. 1-0, that'll do for a start. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> All right, OK, let's do it. <laughs> now, it's definitely not superstars. No. Play David Vine. I mean, Coleman. Hold on, you're Kevin Keegan. I told you, I'm not doing superstars. No, 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 Kevin Keegan was playing against Cyprus. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to mistrust you. No, it's all right. <laughs> That's it. I'm going. Uh, Malcolm, now, I'm sorry, we, we won't do it again. No, look, let's, let's do another one of your goals, see? Eh? Well, the fourth one. Now, that really was a great goal. Dave Thomas, come on, a substitute for Mick Shannon. You mean... And, and... Mick Shannon? Ah, but Dave could never quite get the arm wheel right. <laughs> so, Dave Thomas has taken his fullback on down the right wing and he's whipped one of his great crosses into the penalty area and uh, I've got to cross the centre half and powered it into the far corner. Come on then, lads. This one was a real corker. 
Who else was in Superstars? Oh, you know, big stars from the 70s. Use your initiative. Big stars from the 70s. David Thomas! <laughs> 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 oh, no, Malcolm, Malcolm, I'm sorry. Please, let's do your fifth goal and no more superstar stuff. All right, then. Ball to Thomas. Goal to number five. Thomas. Goal to number five. The first man since the war to score five in a match for England. Ah, oh, well done, Malcolm. You've got a great future ahead of you. Thanks, Kevin. I'm thinking of moving to a bigger club. Nah, I can't see Newcastle selling a centre forward that can score five goals in one game. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot, then. No, no, hold on a minute, Malcolm. We just want to do, do one more bit when you hit the bar. Oh, yeah, I remember that. No, when you hit the bar. Oh, he's whacked, he's whacked himself <laughs> all the way up. Italy, actually, who should we bump into but Lombardo? And as a special present, he gave us a pair. True, of his, true. yeah, he gave us a pair of his old boots. Here they are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't you love that tune? I love it. Anyway, look, thanks, thanks a lot, uh, Nick and, and Jimmy, for coming tonight. It's been great to see you. Next week's Thank guests you. are Judge Lance Ito and David McCullum. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to that. Oh, what's Ooh, that? Blimey, what earth is that at this time of night? Let's guess, shall we? <laughs> Good Lord! Oh, yeah.